Hello, hello, Crafty Man is here, and welcome back to another episode on the Evermore SMP. So in the last episode, we ended up taking on Cortez's unbelievable maze, which was super fun. And then we also ended up coming back here to do a small build, and we got the melon and pumpkin farm up and running. So as we work on today's project, we will be getting melons and pumpkins, which is super exciting. So that'll allow me to find out if... uh. Yeah, my sorter actually works properly. <laughs> but we'll yeah, we'll we'll check on that later. But today we are going to be building something up here on top. And so we've got we've got these kind of warehouses and stuff which I still need I I really need to do the interiors and stuff to these buildings. But, you know, as as we all know, I mean, it just doesn't really do interiors all that well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but today we are going to be working here. Now, this build here, we are, you know, we are going to be building something inspired by the Danish West India Company warehouse in Christiansted in the Virgin Isles. Um, I, I don't I don't know how to pronounce the name of the island that it it, it is. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the name up on the screen so that you guys can see. It. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think Qua, Qua maybe? Croy? <laughs> it it's one of those. I'm not yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure how to how to pronounce that, but that that is where we are getting the inspiration from. And for this build, I want to do something a little bit different because on these ones we use the really dark on the bottom. So we've got the dark oak and then we've got the black stone here. And so with this one, we are actually going to be using the jungle. So kind of like we did with that building right there for the jungle. But we are going to be using the same technique as we used on the manor house up on top. And we are going to use the planks. And then we are going to use these stripped logs on the top. And that's what we are going to be building here. So we've got the main building that's going to go here. There's going to be a minor building that's going to go here. And then this is going to be the main, like, yard area here. And so this building is where, you know, any of the, any of the people coming in, they would end up coming to this building with their, you know, with their different merchandise and stuff and so they would weigh it and figure out if there's any you know any kind of taxes or anything like that that they would end up having to pay as you know as it comes through the port so and and granted yeah and then just just a note i don't know if that's actually what they you know i'm pretty sure they didn't use the the warehouse for that you know in the original that i'm taking the inspiration from i just thought that it looked it looked like the you know kind of thing that you know we could actually use for the weight and measures and that's kind of the reason why I had decided to use that and yeah, I just thought it looked really cool and it's especially really cool if you actually go onto the Google Maps and you can actually, you can actually still see the building standing. So, which is, you know, which is really cool. So I was actually able to kind of sit there and study, you know, how, you know, how it was built and try to figure out how I can get it made in the scale that we are currently using. So yeah, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get to building.
right, and there we have it. The building is all done. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed the time lapse there. Now, with this, and I, I was, as I was building this, I got to thinking about it, and just so you guys know, this isn't in like an exact replica of the building. I just was using it as inspiration. So, you know, if any of you wanted to go and look at the actual building, it looks a lot different than this. Definitely completely different color scheme, too. <laughs> So I was just using the West Indies building as, you know, kind of, uh, you know, inspiration for this, not like an actual, like, you know, doing a replica of it. So not in the time lapse is this section right here. So I decided to use the stone as well as the black stone in here, kind of playing around with a new idea for the ceilings in here. And then here. I figured that the, you know, kind of like the iron gates and stuff so that we could, you know, well, not we, but people could end up coming in and they dealing with the, the merchants and stuff in here. And once business is done, they close it up kind of thing. And then this is another building in here. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with this yet. And then I still need to raise up the floor and stuff. We, yeah, we definitely need, definitely need floors in here. <laughs> And then this lovely thing will come up to the second floor once I get it in. As you can see, we've got we've got that section done, sort of. <laughs> but we'll, you know, we'll definitely work on like the interiors and stuff. But today, just for today, we are going to be working on the outside instead of the inside. At some point, I will actually get to get to interiors, maybe. <laughs> we'll 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 see how well that works. But let's see, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it will it will work. So let's do this. And what I want to do is I kind of want to lay out, oh, not here, uh, different, you know, kind of different things that they would have in the actual, like, shipping yard kind of thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. And so let's go ahead and bring these guys all the way out. Hopefully I have enough wood. Oh, ha, look at that. Just enough. Okay, where, ah, there it is. Okay. And so, oh, nope, not there. I want to do that and that. And then we can get rid of these. And then we'll do ladder, ladder. And then we can do the rails. Put these down. And then this should, yeah, bring up. Whoop, okay, wrong one. Ah, no, what? What is that? No. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so we've got, you know, the kind of like the logs and stuff here. We'll need to go through and we'll need to replace like the, um, yeah, the lights and stuff in here so that we can actually see. So we need two blocks here. And so let's do this one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then actually let's do that so I can get these back. Cause I'm probably going to need these in order to lay this all the way out. But yeah. So we're going to have like different areas of the, the logs and stuff. Yeah. Just perfect. Different areas for the logs and and then uh, let's go ahead because I wanna I wanna do I wanna do some of these other things. So I don't want to do this all on camera because I know this is gonna end up taking a while. But like over here, let's you know I want to do kind of like that. Let's do that and be like that. Yeah, there we go. So you know, just kind of piles like this, kind of scattered about the you know about the area as well, and then. I've got some ideas for some barrels and and stuff to kind of, you know, add to the area as well. Like this right here, the red wool, will end up getting turned into like a, kind of like a barrel of apples without actually having a barrel. <laughs> so let me, yeah, let me, let me kind of play around with this a little bit, get these kind of things kind of in place, and then I'll bring you guys back once, you know, once I kind of have a little bit more in place. So I think I've got this about where I'm looking for, you know, in terms of like what it looks like. I am out of regular wool, so I am going to have to get some more of that and probably do some more of these, you know, these kind of barrels. Like I'm thinking of possibly doing like one with a cacti, you know, so maybe a cactus in an item frame with the green wool underneath and, and, you know, kind of adding in stuff like that. But for right now, I think this, you know, this works out. So we've got the dark oak, the spruce, and the oak. And then we've got, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I, yeah, I just, it was something I kind of thought up. I'm like, oh, and I, yeah, I still have a torch underneath there. It'll despawn. 
But we've got barrels on top of the anvils to kind of lift them up. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what these would end up being, but you know, it kind of works. And then we've got the hay bales. Those need to be up off of the ground. And so we put, you know, put those on top of this here. We got some ores. So we got the iron and the coal and then a little wheelbarrow. So, you know, somebody's, somebody's probably coming up to, to grab some of the hay bales. And then we've got the barrels and the note blocks and the one pseudo barrel. And then over here, we've got more of the ores and somebody's, you know, somebody's bringing one of the ores back to, you know, to put it in place to be picked up at a later time. And then we've got the more coal, but this time the actual block iron and then a little bit of the log. So yeah, so that is, you know, kind of what I've added into the yard. And then I've got a little table here. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I was kind of thinking of, you know, something like a clipboard or something, but yeah, <laughs> I, the, I couldn't think of anything that would actually work as, you know, like a clipboard. So I might have to find some paper or something like that and and use that instead. And then we'll have to figure out what to do with this little area here. Maybe, you know, maybe we put like a little wagon or something. It's, yeah, it's it'll be tight. But we could put a little wagon or something like that in there. But for now, I think this is going to, you know, this is going to do it. And then... The other thing that I'm going to have to do in here is to actually get lighting. So I'll probably have to get some more leaves as well as glowstone. And then the next step too is to get all of this section here turned into the gray stones for, you know, for the actual roadway. And so that'll come up all the way over here to this path. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm actually going to end up taking this path, you know, and leaving it here. I was, you know, kind of thinking that it would be nice to have like a differentiation in between the different areas. So this would be more along the lines of like actually paved, whereas this is more of a naturally occurring path. So we'll play around with it as, you know, as the city kind of develops, because this path is supposed to go all the way over here into our mining area, which we still, we still need to add in the, you know, the actual like mine shaft and all of that. So that, that's going to be, that's going to be a whole lot of digging. <laughs> One of the reasons why we have the beacon there, but that is, that is definitely not for today. So I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed the project for today. I was really excited to, you know, get this one done because I've been actually thinking about this for, for quite some time. Just hadn't had a chance to, you know, actually put it together. So really happy that we got this in place and you never know, maybe, maybe next episode we actually work on some interiors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I kind of have to laugh at that. At some point, I will get to interiors, but not, yeah. <laughs> not today and probably not next episode either, but that is all right. So I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.